Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again, like always. And in our previous video, we have gone through to create, read, update and delete records through script using the Glide Record class API and also saw the way to fetch the basic metadata about table and fields of the current record. And in our Today's video tutorial, we will explore about JSON and Glide aggregate functions. So let's go ahead without wasting our previous time. So friends, if you are looking for those script which you have run in your past, then all you can do is that from the application navigator, you type your script execution history, then under the rollback and recovery, you could see the script execution history menu. Just open in the new tab and it will show the list of records and let's suppose this is the script which you have executed then you can see the script which you have written in your past but the issue is that uh, probably after some time this script will not be available in this case what you can do, you can write the script in fix script to save your scripts. If you will type your fix scripts, then under the system definition, you could see the fix script. Just open a new tab, and from here, you can create the record. And here, all you have to type your script, and after that. You will see one UI action button here to execute your script. Let me open this one. So this is the button by clicking that you can execute this script. And you can save your script. Let's discuss about the JSON. So here we use JSON to convert in such format that inform about the state of an object or an instance but not the actual definitions and in api calls also we receive json string but not the actual definition of an object or an instance so here i will create an object first So let me create an object which stores an information about any particular user. For instance, John Doe. And if you want to So the information about the skills also then you can specify your service now javascript cloud computing this okay uh, this is just the normal object what I will do, I will convert this object into JSON. So for that, we will create a variable to store the JSON string. And I will say this variable name is JSON string. JSON stringify is the method given by JavaScript to convert plain json plain object into json string the first argument will take this user object and second argument we have to pass as an optional it is an optional argument if you want to specify you can pass replacer that can be a functions or an array will See about that also for now. Let's specify 
missing uh, argument and let's print this JSON string. In our previous video, we have learned to print using the print method, but info we use because if you are executing this script in other application scope, then it's recommendation to use the info and not the print because print only work in global scope. So you could see. Okay, uh, but now I want to format you for this. Second argument, I'll give the empty. And the third argument, I will give you line numbers for the formatting. So, four. What it will do, right now you are able to see the, your key and value like this. Just after this opening curly bracket, it is showing the user, uh, the key name and the value. And accordingly, others. But what I want is that I want to see in the better way, the readable, better readable way. Let me execute this script. Now you could see. So this four is nothing but the space from this uh, user key from the left hand side. I can increase this. So you could see the space from the all keys at uh, left hand side. This is for the formatting only. And here, suppose you now it is returning the state for all keys. What I want is that I want for the user and skills. Uh, let me correct the spelling first. I want the information about the user and email only. Then here we can specify the key name. If I run the script, you could see now it is returning the user and the email values only. Uh, and this is the array which I have used. Another, I was talking about the function. What that function will do, let me create a replacer equal to functions. As many properties we have in this user object that many times this function will be executed and inside that key name this user and the value will be pass so here friend we can replace the value we can update the value First i will check if type of okay value Okay, type of value is string. Then do one thing. Update that into uppercase. Value dot to uppercase. Else it's return the value normally. And this function I will pass here instead of this array. Let me copy this. And let's run the script. So you could see the value has converted into uppercase for all keys.
you are having the question is that okay api is returning the json but i want to convert that into an object so that i can able to do the dot walk to face the value in your own ui is ui builder or somewhere For that, all you have to do here is that uh, this JSON is thing I want to convert back into this object. Then the method we have is pass. Instead of this stringify, all you have to do here is that JSON dot pass, and inside this method, just pass the JSON string, and it will now convert back that object uh, that json is thing into an object let me run this okay now you could see it is returning an object now you can do the dot walk uh, let me print this skills okay you could see i'm able to do the dot walk if I directly do with the JSON thing, let's see what will happen. See, it is saying undefined because that is the because that is the string only, but not the object. So I can not do the dot work. Hope you understand how. To use the stringify and parse method. Let's proceed with Glide aggregate. Class API is an extended class of Glide record to calculate maximum minimum average sum count. So, use case number one. Let's suppose you want to count the number of records based on the filter then probably you says we have get true count method also yes but it is not the best practice to use that get true count method of the client record class api due to the performance issue so we have client aggregate class api to do that so i am going to create an object of client record class API new client aggregate and inside that I have to pass the, incident, the table name and seeing that g incident dot I want to know the number of incident records assigned to me so from the filter navigator if i'll go to the list of the incident record so assigned to me uh, okay let me so much so there are 10 records assigned to me okay and let me add another filter also that is active true let me copy this query and go here Now I have to add the aggregate by saying that I want to count the number of records. Then I have to say that I am asking to the database like that query. Because it will 
return use at one time so I will use the if condition here not the while dot next we create a variable and as I have uh, added the aggregate count I have to get the value likewise but the difference is this instead of 8 uh, we will have the prefix get let me copy this and the incident dot else I will type by myself get aggregate and what aggregate function you want to do the count now I can print like this there are uh, number of records assigned to me in, in this group now friends I want to know that how many articles are available in particular knowledge basis so let me update this script so ga underscore kv new client record and the table will be kv knowledge this time g underscore kv dot add uh, encoded query so uh, you know uh, we have retire publish draft article in this kv knowledge uh, table list so i want to add the filter and i want to fetch for the workflow underscore state uh, that is publish and i want to aggregate based on the gkv dot add aggregate uh, function name here aggregate and count i want to count based on the kv underscore knowledge underscore base kv dot group by if you want to add the group by but by default it will apply based on this knowledge base if if i will not add also a kv dot query this time it will return you more than one result that's why i'm going to use while loop we create the variable and this gkv dot get play value kv underscore knowledge underscore base and let me create another variable to store the number of counts total underscore articles gkv dot uh, get create Um, one thing should be glide aggregate not the glide record 
that's why it was not suggesting me this function okay now it is suggesting and then one most important thing you notice that the way i have passed the argument at line number 10 the same way you have to specify while fetching also so here also we have to pass the two argument kv knowledge underscore base now you will learn the different way to print using the gs.info method so first I will change this line okay and then I will print the knowledge with name and see I am using this opening closing curly bracket and the number it is basically the indexing see, in this info method I am going to pass the two argument first one will be the type of that value will be string and the second will be array and here I will specify the value from which we have to inject from here to this here so this 0 is nothing but the index number of this array base and total articles and again I will change the line after printing the knowledge base name and articles colon and line number 1 and post that I will change the line 2 times using backward slash n now let me execute this script so you could see the knowledge base it uh, we have 32 articles maybe we have only um, we have only one knowledge base that's why what I can do instead of this kv category I'm going to use the kv category so that you can easily understand okay and i will change kv underscore category here and in the same knowledge base uh, we have a different category and each category we have different articles so how many articles are available in each category that's what i am printing here for now let me execute this script okay awesome <laughs> but uh, something because of this uh, this is not because of that this is because of this kv category we could see in android we have one article in announcement we have two articles so this is the way if you want to fetch how many records are available based on one group by field in our case i have used the category because while using the knowledge base it executed only one time because for now i have only one knowledge base friends let's discuss about the sum calculation right now i don't have any proper table to do this but to make you understand i will i am going to use this kv knowledge only and in this category how to i have this view count field and there i have this value 17 13 34 48 
and this values I want to add and wanted to show by using uh, this sum aggregate. So I will update here and sys underscore view count is the backend fill name. And it will return you the return, uh, result only one time. So I'm going to use the KB. And uh, if you are performing this kind of thing, then all you have to do is that you have to set this uh, set group uh, functionality to false. by default it is true that you have to make it false otherwise it will uh, not behave correctly and not re return you the correct result so gs dot info and gkv dot get aggregate sum and count let me run this script ok ok <laughs> so you could see 645 is showing not sure it is returning the correct result the reason because here let me update the query filter that was incorrect it was uh, returning from all the knowledge articles and script and you could see 112 so if we calculate this one 17 13 34 48 so if i will calculate in front of you gs dot info 17 plus thirteen thirty four forty eight. 4 plus 48 you could see 112 it is the correct result okay friend if I talk about a maximum minimum calculation then in the same script if I will add here max and here also the max then it will return you uh, this value 48 because this is the maximum view count right forty-eight and if I will see minimum minimum and if I will execute this script then you could see the 13 So friend this is homework for you calculate the average calculate the sum of articles in each category calculate the minimum maximum of articles view counts okay and if you are able to do this then i would say that yes you have understood about the client aggregate class api so friend thank you for watching please do subscribe for more videos